attention to what you're doing. Keep your pose, will you? Oh, they're watching us. Who? There. Those two there? They're really creating masterpieces. Yes, but the girl keeps staring at us. So what? Don't pay attention to her. Come on, let's see what they're doing. I uh, let them work in peace. Oh, come on. Oh, when you get an idea in your head, there's no arguing with you. Just a quick look. Do you think it's a good resemblance? Oh, I'm afraid not. Neither the tree nor the girl. He's right. Tree in a drawing is covered with blossoms. And that 
girl. Uh, she looks like someone. Can't place her exactly. At least I've seen it somewhere. I think it's a good resemblance. Of course, it was a painting of destiny. Or was it death? Has anyone got any questions? Then we all agree. That's it. I'm all out of cigarettes. Here. The smoke's already so thick in here you can hardly breathe. You're right. Now that we've discussed the details, let's go out for some fresh air. Good idea. Let's go. I'm tired. Wait a minute. We'd better make one thing clear. If you remember correctly, I insisted on it from the very beginning, huh? That each of us should carry no more than enough money for a month. I got my reasons for it. You can believe me. The hard part is after the job. Do any of you remember the Baron? Yeah, sure, we remember. He was a terrific operator, the best. Everything beautifully organized. Each detail worked out to the fraction of an inch. Yeah, you bet. A real perfectionist. I don't have to remind you why they were caught. Because one of them started spending all his dough on a dame. Ten grand for a mink coat. You know, the police aren't as stupid as we keep hoping they'll be. Right after a big haul, they go wild. <laughs> it's only natural. Newspaper articles, big headlines. Then a week goes by, a month. More important things start happening. And then it's all over. You can come out of your hiding place, do what you please. No one will give a damn anymore. Walter's right. We've got lots of time to split the profits between us. Life is long enough. That's not true. You're just kidding yourself, friend. Every day we were in the war seemed like the last one. Remember? Now say you've got it twisted. Life's too short. she want? Who is she? What is it, Marco? Nothing. Don't worry. Everything will be all right. Okay, boys, it's all set. We split later on. We won't take any chances. With you at the helm, eight to five, we'll make it. Yeah, I can feel it now. Tomorrow's going to be a hot day.
strength. Save yourself. It was all my fault. They were waiting for us. Take it easy, Walter. Don't talk. I'll get you out of this. After all we've been through, I won't let you down. You saved my life at the beach at Salerno. Now it's my turn. I'll take you over to my doctor's. He's the right guy. He won't talk. He'll fix you up. You'll see. It's no use, Mark. No one can do anything for me now. It was a good plan. I worked on it for months. But I thought the boys were getting impatient. So I took a foolish risk ahead of schedule. So we could split the take early. That was the one mistake. It's too late now. I've lost too much blood. My legs are cold. I'm dying, Michael. I know it. I'm dying. Stop it, Walter. We've been through tougher spots than this. You can't quit now. It's not like you. We'll hide somewhere. Listen, I managed to get some of the money. Not the whole bundle. But enough of it for the two of us. Walter. Five men dead, two wounded. Two of the bandits still at large as part of the payroll money. The nationwide dragon is on to capture the criminals still at large. Special edition, all the details, spectacular payroll robbery. There she is, always there, as if she was waiting for me.
What a shame you were counting so much on this money, Walter. But Helen and I need your share. It's our last chance at life. Please forgive me. What are you doing there in the dark? Don't turn on the lights. What happened, Marco? Did you change your perfume? My perfume? It's the same. Why? I've been waiting for you a long time. Well, I'm here. What is it? What's the matter? Did you hear the newsboys yelling in the streets tonight? You mean the robbery? Yes, I did. What has that got to do with us? Tell me what's the matter. That's just what I'm trying to do. The two bandits who got away, do you know who one of them was? Hmm? Walter. And the other one was me. Listen to me. If you made me leave the club in such a hurry, in the middle of my number, just to scare me out of my wits or play some kind of stupid joke on me. This isn't any joke. I haven't got time for jokes. It's true, Helen. I'll prove it. No, Marco, it's impossible. I can't believe you'd do such a thing. It was supposed to be a perfect job. Walter had been planning it for nearly six months. But at the last minute, something went wrong. It turned out to be a real butchering. Why, Marco, why? Why? I can give you a million reasons. How else do you think I could afford to live like this? Dropping a bundle in that cup of yours, sleeping every day until 12 o'clock. But you told me that, that you had a job. Big deal as a traveling salesman. And you never wised up that with a salesman's salary, I'd never be able to earn enough money to afford to live like this? No. The only thing I ever sold in my life was my soul. Sold it for a plan. Yes. The only trouble was something went wrong with the plan. But I can't gripe about that too much. It's part of this whole risky business. And that's the only business I know, you understand? <laughs> I have only one regret, that you didn't know me a long time ago. Right after the war ended. When I got out of the army, I had nothing. Nothing to look forward to. Nothing. And ones who were lucky enough not to get drafted had their pockets lined with dough. I tried hard to get myself a decent job. Any job, I wasn't choosy. But I couldn't find a thing. Just a ton of humiliation. I failed everywhere. And came the dawn. To get along in this world, I had to wise up. So I started using another system. I had to do something to live, didn't I? Believe me, it wasn't easy. It just took a lot of guts. That I've got. It's my long suit. And today, I tried to pull a really big job. did it for you, too. So we could go away. Far away from here. It didn't matter where. As long as it was new for both of us. We need a new start, Helen. For our own future. Please give yourself up, Marco. Do it for me. 
I'll keep on working. We'll get good lawyers to handle your case. The best in the country. I'll wait for you. Wait for me? If I turn myself in, I'll be facing a life sentence. You don't know what it means to be put away. Rot your whole life away in a prison cell. I had a taste of that when I was in a concentration camp. I almost went crazy. No. Never again. Maybe it would have been better for both of us if I had been killed, too. No. Don't say such things to me. If you'd been killed, I'd have no reason to go on living anymore. I couldn't go on. Not the way I lived before I knew you. Honey, if I gave myself up, it would be just the same as being dead. Well, then what's the answer, Marco? There's only one thing to do. Get away from here. Run as far as possible. Very well. I'll go with you. Whatever you say. Listen to me. There's one possibility for a getaway. We've got to cross the frontier into France. I have a friend there I can trust. He can arrange passage on a boat to South America. But how will you get across the border? I don't know. Don't worry, I'll figure something out. You can take the train right away. Leave everything as it is and don't say a word to anybody. Yes, Marco. If anyone asks you any questions, say you're going on a little vacation. Anywhere. It doesn't matter. Find an excuse. Any excuse. Just tell them anything that comes to your mind. All right, I'll tell you when I'm going to Paris. I'll say that I have a few family affairs to attend to there. I'll think of something. Uh, just on the other side of the border, there's a little cafe called the Marseillaise. Wait for me there. I'll take the money myself. There's a chance that some of the bills may have been marked. easier to go by train all the way to the French border. But railroads never have welcomed robbers. Funny, this is the path smugglers use. Climb, another climb, 
to the last mountain and France and Helen. This is risky moving without cover. Bring it inside. I haven't seen you for a few weeks, Ben. It seems the tourists have been too healthy. Hey, you're not going to make us wait two hours like last time, are you? No, it'll take about half an hour, no more. I promise. Well, I'll see you in my office. Thank you. you check it, will yes, you? Yes, Sergeant. I'll be. Shall we get on with it? French tourist. Yeah, he was driving through Italy on a short vacation, but he got a longer one than he bargained on. Oh, well, those things happen. I hope not to me. Uh, it must be horrible to die away from your home. Horrible and complicated. It's harder to cross the border dead than alive. Oh, come now, you're exaggerating. What was it, an accident? No. Heart attack. His parents claimed the body, so we had to come over for it. Oh, so that's it. Where do you have to take him? Very far? No, not too far. It's only about 25 miles from here. And to Bresson. 25 miles and all his problems are solved. That would be enough to get me to. Ah, it's crazy. It's impossible. I'd never get away with it. Why not? It, it's my only chance. What have I got to lose? All right, that's where we go. Yeah, we're anxious to get going. Be it. 
tight fit. I have to move quickly. Come on, you can't waste any time. Brother, it gives me the shivers to think about it. Getting in is one thing. How am I gonna get out? I don't have any tools. Got to figure a way. They'll be back soon. There's no difference between one job and another, as long as you found it. Here it is. Thanks. Strange. Sure, I left it here. Guess I'm wrong. Well, at least we didn't waste much time today. Ten minutes. Tell me, why are you in such a hurry today? No hmm? hurry. We just don't feel like being caught in a storm, that's all. Can't you see how dark the sky is? But in the mountains, you get surprised at this time of the year. The weather's very changeable. You might get rain one hour and sun the next. The sun. Will I ever see it again? What's taking them so long?
God. Well, it gives you a funny feeling to see a coffin being sealed. Poor guy. I'm sure glad I'm not in his boots. While you're finishing up here, I'll go and get his things. Call you later. Now, what are they doing? Bonjour. Morning. Would you please open it? Yes, sir. Open it. Open it. Oh, no. Let's see, I don't think so. <laughs> what do you know? There's a hole in my pocket. I've been meaning to get it repaired all week. Merci, monsieur. I was right, you see. I always told you you ought to get married. That wasn't in the car. All right, let's go to the office. Funny. People believe in destiny. It's foolish. We control our own destinies. I'm not so sure. It's possible other people's destinies are in our hands. Here you are. Thank you. Goodbye. Bye. Bye, Lieutenant. Au revoir. Bye. Au revoir. Goodbye. Accompagnez les vous.
Stop that hook! I know they must have their reasons, but just the same, all that red tape makes me mad. You travel for hours and get holed up for nothing. Well, do you understand why they have to do it? Sure, I know, to stand for papers. Do you think it's fair to make us turn around for a little detail like that? That's not a little detail. In fact, it's pretty important. If the pass isn't stamped by the consulate, then they won't let us come back into France. So, uh... And when we get to France, what do we do? Well, uh, if it weren't for our passenger there, I wouldn't mind stopping at the first restaurant. I'm starving. <laughs> This road seems endless. We should have reached Bristol by now. Luckily, there's air in here. Can't wait to be rid of this damp coffin. Well, the wood smells like Piner Beach. I never could tell one tree from another.
the morgue. It's cold in here. It's freezing. How long will I be able to stand it? I've got to get out of here. How can I? It can't end this way. I can't let it. The nightmare. I can't die like this. There must be a way out. I won't die like this. It's only an hallucination. Yeah, yeah, that's what it is. An hallucination. Yeah. Mind plays funny tricks. Can't be anything else. It has to be an hallucination. Marco, stop it. Stop kidding yourself. Someone's got to hear me.
of a tiger. Its fingers are like ice. If I had something to burn, to warm myself. Why not? Better poor than dead.
are. These are the only papers I could find. Thank you. Hello, Pierre. How are things? I'm fine. And you? Mm hmm. Do you mind if I sit down here? Yeah, go on. Mademoiselle Brandy, please. Right away. I'll be back in a second. Have a check, please. Ah, you don't mean to say you're going out in the middle of the night. At this hour, the roads are covered with ice. It's too dangerous to be driving in a car. I know. All right. You want your suitcases? Yes. Thank you. Glass wall and cuts like a razor. That's it. The screws. The screws from the coffin.
It's open. It's open. Goodbye, buddies. Let me in, please. We're close for the night. Please, just a minute, that's all. I'm sorry. They give me a fine. I must make a telephone call. I had an accident. Oh, all right. But make it quick, will you? Thanks. Au revoir, mademoiselle. Goodbye. Et bon voyage. Marianne here. Yes? The cafe's called the Marseillaise. Who? A girl called Helen? Hold on a second, I'll ask my father. Papa, come here a minute. All right, coming, coming. Hello. She waited for you almost all day long. And what's that? I couldn't stop her, could I? Uh, no, she left a while ago. Don't mention it. Au revoir. No use, there's no one home. All the lights are out. Let's go. I wouldn't miss the appointment. Fran. 
chance is right there, over that hill.
Oh, no. I'm not throwing it away. I won't throw it away. I won't. Marco! Please hear me, Helen. I need you. Hurry. the money for just one more chance to live. I don't want it. It's just paper. Waste paper. Cold and dirty and wet. I can't even use it to light a fire. To warm my hands. I couldn't even use it to save my life. That's a wasted life.
Don't go away. Come back, Ellen. There's no reason. I'm dying. You mustn't let me die. God, make her hear me. Ellen. Ellen. You've made mistakes in your life. Locked yourself in a coffin before your time. Remember? You said you couldn't tell one tree from another. But you forgot our tree. That tree, Marco. Remember it. It's still there. I know you can see it clearly, all covered with blossom, as you saw it in the painting. The day everything began. Come, Marco. It's all over. 